Week nine, George. Welcome to the iHeart Miko podcast. Appreciate you, Miko. I've been trying to get you on here forever. The timing was off, but this is my last day here in LA. I'm leaving tomorrow, going home. So I was like, you know what? Before I get out of here, I have to get you. Let me tell you something. So I came here a couple of weeks ago. I came to a 10 o'clock dinner. I was only the only one the whole summer that I made it to was to see Martell's dinner. Yeah. And I was here dumb early and I'm watching the game and I'm sitting there thinking like something is missing. Yes, yeah, something, right? something was wrong. It didn't feel like a Drew Lee game. And then you came running in like grabbed the mic and you was talking shit before you even your ass hit the seat. You was talking <laughs> shit. And I said, that's what's missing. Like, it's not even a real game if you're not on the mic. Do you know that? Appreciate that, Miko. I've been hearing about that for the last couple of years. I'm going into my 21st season, oh, you know, 21. wrapped up my 21st season. I mean, I'm starting to hear that from a lot of people. They like, uh, the truth of the game um, ain't the same without you. No, at and, all. Um, like, it don't even feel right. Like, I can't even watch a game here without hearing you because you know, I play ball as well. So yeah. you, you watch NBA games, you can even watch high school games, you hear the commentator. Most of it is dry, it's stale, it's white. And every now and then you might get a holy moly or some cool shit. You say what we want to hear. Yeah, I got to hit you with that gunpowder. Yeah, it's I like, gotta hit you, with that you, don't let, you don't save nobody. It doesn't matter if you're an NBA player or not. If, if you fuck up, George gonna let you know. I don't care who I got, man. Like my mom could be out there. I'll smoke her. <laughs> I believe you too, because it's just the game. That's just what it is. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So you said you've been doing this 21 years. Yeah, 21 so, years. so they, everybody knows I, I've been, I was a player, I was a coach, I worked at the, the table with you. Yes, indeed. For a while. You was on the computer. On the computer. Yes, yeah. I was doing it all. And so, Drew League to us is like family. It's like home. Like all of us, everybody that worked here, or you can just volunteer, or do anything here. It's like family, and and it's like the games are just different. And I don't know how to explain it to people. But can you give me an, an example or idea of what you really think the Drew League is, like what it means for people that have never come here before? They want to see something special. They want to see the Drew League. They want to see what it's all about. They want to see, you know, what they've seen on the documentary. Mm -hmm. You know, they hear about the Drew League. They were like, okay, been down there for 45 years. So they want to come and touch it. You know, mm -hmm. instead of seeing it on YouTube, instead of seeing it on the documentary, they actually want to come out here and touch it. Mm -hmm. You know, and I appreciate them. They come from everywhere, from yes. China, from uh, Canada, from, you, can, you can name it, Brazil. They come from yes. everywhere. And, and and what's amazing about the Drew League is how many NBA players come here and respect this league. I had Frank Lindy on earlier today, and I was talking to him about how some of the fans or people that, you know, don't really know the Drew, they, they, they talk shit to him on, on social media and tell him, oh, you know, nobody cares about the Drew. Those NBA players don't care about the Drew. They're letting you score 40. They're letting you do this. Is that shit crazy to you hear that? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I've I seen some of the comments. I read up on some of the comments. It's ridiculous. You know, he put up 84 points on Torian Prince and Denzel Valentine, truck of the year yeah. for Denzel Valentine. And yeah. uh, I mean, they just making excuses. You know, Frank know he can play with these dudes. He's just not in the NBA. Right. But he know he can go with these dudes. And that's what I like about it. It doesn't matter if you're in the league, if you're playing overseas, wherever you're playing, when you step into the group, everybody's an equal at that point. And you separate yourself from that. You, yeah. There's Drew, like, like like we saw the NBA MVP, James Harden today going against Frank Nitty, who's the MVP of the Drew League. That's something special to me. No you know, doubt. that's that's special on people. You can't you can't knock the Drew because James Harden is here. Special the play. MVP is, oh, yeah. he plays here every summer. Yeah. You know, no so doubt. the Drew is serious. And, and people think that these NBA players, you think an NBA player want to come let somebody give him 40? No. Nobody want that on their resume. Not at all. Not at all. You know, so, so I, I wish people would understand, like, this is taken very serious of you. Oh, yes, yeah, serious. And, and your trash talking is serious. I wanted to ask you, because you, you give out a lot of nicknames. What is your favorite nickname that you've ever given out? Do you have a favorite? Gotta go with the Ghetto Bird. The Chris Ghetto, Young. Chris Young. You gave him that name? Yeah, that was I my first college, nickname. I, can't, I played college ball with him. Yeah, that was Casa my first LA. nickname. That was the first one. First nickname I gave out. Now, Nick Young, for people that don't know, hopefully my editor will highlight, Nick Young used to, Chris Young, I'm saying. Yeah, Chris, Chris Young. Young. 
is a high flying pass. Like this boy can just oh, yeah. take off. He can slam ball. Yeah. For those of, some people might recognize him slam ball, but Chris was just a dunk waiting to happen at oh, yeah. any moment. Man, he'll catch. And for people that don't, the ghetto bird in LA is t is, a, is a helicopter. Yeah. We're one of the first cities to use the helicopters to chase people to, to capture them yeah. instead of driving the car. You're not getting away from the ghetto bird. You're not getting away from the ghetto bird in LA. And so that's kind of, I had to, you know, my listeners don't all yeah. know. Well, that's an iconic over. nickname right there. That's the that's iconic, iconic one. Nickname. The first nickname I gave out in the Drew League, the yeah. Ghetto Bird. That's, that's a dope nickname. Yeah. Now, have you ever taken a nickname from anybody? Like, uh, let's say you give a, like, like you give a player a nickname because it's something dope he does and he just thinks of it. Have you ever taken a nickname? Have you ever just been like, nah? It's been a couple players I want to take their nicknames back. You want to say No, Nah, I'm going to keep that. Off the record right now, record, but they know. They yeah, know they, they know. Are. They know who they are. You want to take their nickname? They know who they are, and uh, they know it's coming. They Wait, it's coming. so you you can take nicknames? Oh yeah, I can take them back. You that's legal. Just like I give them away, I can take them back. Now, when a player comes into the gym and he plays, you literally know all their stats. You know what college, you be knowing how many points they average. You know what they did in the group. And like, I smoke weed. Yeah. I'm sure you do. I smoke big weed. Is, is the coach, does, how you got this memory? You remember every single player, everything. How? Good weed, you know. I leave that drink alone. Leave, leave that, that drink, drink alone. alone. You lose your mind and you lose your memory when you're on that drink. Yes. You know, you black out a lot. Yes. That good weed, though, that'll save your that's, mind. That's that'll save I, your memory. I feel like that's how come I remember everything yeah. I know about no sports. Doubt. Like, smoking weed just helps think you I'm, remember. People think I'm playing, but it's good for you. It's good and for you your don't health. be having a piece of paper. Oh, no, you don't you need don't all that. You don't have nothing. <laughs> nigga walk in, you be like, blah, 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 this nigga, this, 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 this. Yeah. Like, you just know it all. It's off the top. It's off the top. I, I, I like... I have always won. I've called. I've called some games. Like I, I went to college for broadcasting, so I had to call games, you know, in that way. But I've always wanted to call some live games, and I feel like you would be so amazing at the professional level. I just don't know if they would be ready for you. Have you ever thought about branching off and doing something outside of the dream? No, this is it for me. This is this, this is, is it. it. No, I never thought about it. Now it's the first and foremost. I was a fan of the Jewelry. I'm 41 years old, about to be 42. I've been announcing the last 21 years. I've been a fan for 33 years. Never thought about announcing in the Drew League until Dino asked me to. And he never, he never really, you know, came around to it, saying like, why he asked me. You never, know, he just asked you. It was just random. He just asked me randomly. But you, you were shit talking though. You probably knew that. Probably nah, knew I was quiet. I was quiet. Well, you know, I was quiet. Dino, it's just that vision that Dino has. Wow. You know, I was going That's to him. I was going to him trying to get a job through agencies. Uh -huh. And Dino would help me out through that. But I couldn't get no job, you know. And um, he told me to come in the house in the Drew League. This was back in 97. I couldn't believe it. I was like, Dino, you gotta be shitting. Watch out, man. I ain't gonna announce another Drew League. Have you, you know, ever missed a game? Uh, yes, I missed a game. You have? No, some I on purpose. Seen. Some on purpose. I know you come late because you go to church on yeah, Sundays. Yeah, on Sundays, yeah. But some on purpose. Some on purpose. But not very many. Not many very many. Years. How many people? Is more than 10? Uh, not more than five. Not more than five. Yeah. Yeah. Six to one year. I said that'd be five. At least ten thousand games. Oh Gotta be at least. We gotta get a statue somewhere. Yeah. Whenever I feel like the Drew needs their own gym, that's really what I feel like. Like I had Dino on, and then I went to the Drew League Gala, and I donate money whenever I see Dino talk to him. Anything, I'm always giving money, and I'm saying to myself, Why did you? Do? I, I loved it. We was at the middle school yeah. with the wooden jackboards. Yeah. I loved it. The dungeon. Then we was at the, the park, and now here. But I feel like the Drew needs their own gym, yeah. their own facility, and I'm confused as to how these NBA players who grew up here, playing here, haven't donated the money to get that done. Because I want to do my part. I would like you to financially assist in that, and I feel like that's what the next step for the Drew League is. Do you think that we can get that? So we have our own, uh, the own stadium, our own little, it doesn't to be nothing crazy. Just like a nice gym that is for the Drew League so that there's a facility. Do you think that that's possible? Man, uh, see that a big possibility. It should we just got to get together. You know, we all got to get to the table. You know, people in high places got to get to that table. 
And we just got to break bread. Because I feel like Get that back needs to the community. Happen. Yeah, because if we have that, then we have employees. We're employing our own people. We're giving people that are, like, working even more money. Yeah. You know, like, if we have people that are donating, we get sponsors to help us. Everybody's eating, and then the Drew is growing. I feel like it needs to keep going, growing. And then the next big step to me is our own facility. Yes, and then that way we can put a statue of you outside. You know what I'm saying? On the mic, talking shit. Like, I feel like it would just be amazing. There's some very iconic people here, and not just players. People like you should be recognized, and, and I feel like a, 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 a building of some kind would be dope. Appreciate that, Nico. I'm pushing for that. That's, we we got to get that done. We, we got to keep this going. Cause we got generations coming up. We got kids in here. The kids that are in the NBA now, the Hardens and, and Swaggy Peas. Baron Davis, all these these guys with kids are running around the group. And now they're in the NBA. Now they're professionals and, and, and parents and families and all that. Their kids are coming up. Like, I feel like this is the next step. No doubt. No doubt. Mm -hmm. I see that too. Yes? yes. Well, I want to thank you for coming on. Thank you, Miko. Me. Love you, Miko. I love you too. I'm leaving tomorrow. I won't, probably won't see you again until next summer. Be safe. Be and I'll safe? see you next summer. Definitely. Much love. All right, peace. Thank you. Thank you, Mika. Appreciate it. Much love. Always. Finally, we did an interview before. We have. First of all, Kiana. How are you doing? Hey. Hey, girlfriend. Hey, girlfriend. <laughs> so I had you on the podcast last September. Yeah, we need to do like an anniversary one. We need, we need like another one. Retouch on, that. Retouch on last year's, year's situation. Yeah. One year anniversary. What has changed? Exactly. What's Good different? Ass. Yeah, so um, let me take my glass off because I feel inappropriate. Um, so I brought you up here to Drew and it is clear that you're causing problems. No, I'm just in here in like a locker room full of men. <laughs> like, what? I'm causing problems. I These like nipples is hard. I've been thrown to the wolves. Okay. You have. <laughs> the wolves is out, my nigga. There's so much medium chubbing. There's so swear. much medium dick around the gym. So they many grace. One sauce here. All this meat. <laughs> Oh my God! So, are you enjoying the drooling? I like, am. what do you? This I brought you up cool. here yesterday, and it was a little more relaxed. But today is extra. What do you think of it? Um, it's interesting. It really, is bring back memories from back in the day when I used to like actually play sports. It was cool to see like everyone from the different like backgrounds and heritages and all that stuff playing together, come together in the good sports and shit. It's fun. It's fun. You like Compton? You know this is Compton. We in the hood. You feel, you feel at home? Yeah. You know what? It's kind of touchy for me specifically, but, but this, will, this is like a good memory for me when it comes to comedy. Compared okay. to other memories. Yes, so. yes, yes. So um, we're leaving tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We're leaving LA. Yeah, to, tonight is our last night here. Turn up. We're going to turn up. Yeah. Hold up. We're supposed to turn up last night. Yeah. What? what happened? We'll talk about it later. So. <laughs> I'm blaming myself. <laughs> last night, we didn't even, I don't even want to talk about last I'm, make, I'm trying to get over last night and focus on tonight. Okay. Okay. We just go try to have us some fun. Um, Can I get crazy girls today? Oh, I don't know. We, we'll have to see once more people come over and get ratchet. I don't know. It's supposed to be at the house. We gotta see. Okay. We gotta see. I'm down to the house. I can. I can definitely get to the house. I, I probably could do that. Know some I do know. Some I know some women up the night. Yeah. But um, did you see any potential um, you know um, visitors that you would like to invite? You know what? I think we need to make some business cards before I leave this event. <laughs> By hand. It's okay. Mom. Some, got the you go check and scratch it. Some business you know, cards. Yeah, my name. People don't even do that no more. People are really on social media passing out phones. No, Kiana do. Kiana do that too. Yeah, I'm for this week right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in there and finish watching the okay, game. We have a good time. You too. It's been awesome. Thank you too for coming and, and, and making everybody's day. I'm just looking around the gym and seeing these niggas like, whoa. I'm mean, looking at you too. So I'm not. Little, booties, little booties only matter if she your wife, is what I figured. I she's your wife. Her little booties don't matter. Don't, 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 don't what is it? Yeah. Is it? If you had to pick small, medium, or large, what would you do? Use medium. Medium. Long, long as she got a handful. I got it. As long as she got I got two so hands. Like Drake said, Hello, you can put your phone down. You're gonna need two hands. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> this is why we're no good together. We are no good Back together. to the game. Back to the game. Okay, we're going back in for the game right now. Okay. All right, peace. Bye. It's week nine. Drewy, you have taken over my podcast for the last two months um, with your top performers and um, player of the week nods. Congratulations. Um, you're appearing. I mean, it, it would be a fucking shock if you're not a three-time back-to-back-to-back to back to back MVP of the Drewy's. How does it feel? You did it yet. Yeah, you did I it. I can't tell you. Who, who, what can happen today? You have one game left. You guys are undefeated. Birds of the undefeated. You won the championship. This is what, 26 games in a row or something like that? 26 in a row without a loss. You Last week, you had 84 points in 48 hours. You had 40 on Saturday, 44 on Sunday. Why the fuck? Who, who else could... You could go out there and shit the bed today. And shit the bed. And you really think they wouldn't give you the interview? That's a good point. But you know what? This is one of the things. This is like this is expensive. I'm, did you get the trophy today? Or nah, I wish uh, last year we got it second round. Second round, LA wait a little bit. You don't get it the first round of the playoffs. I think it's the second round. Uh, but I think they had a little more. Just, no, they said I was an animal. Like, yeah. Come on now, lock it oh, up. Oh, no. Toots yeah. your horn, man. Come on, you, I like this humbleness. What you want to do? Oh, oh she said <laughs> toot to your horn. Nah, everybody think I am. So, so last week, let's get into it, okay? Denzel Perry came up in here. Valentine. Valentine. Why did I say here? Denzel. You don't respect him. I don't. Let me tell you why. This is why I don't respect I'm sorry, him. Let me stop. No, let me stop. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I was gonna let you talk your shit, but the reason I don't respect him is he came into the Drew League. First of all, this is Drew League. I don't give a fuck where you from and that what part. you think. The Drew is the Drew. That one. Okay, so when you come in here and a nigga is cooking you, your response can never be. I got millions of in the NBA. Why is that even your response, nigga? What are you doing right now? The clock is running. Ain't no money on the line. Ain't no money. Just Everybody's free, free playing for the for kids. Free. This a show. Uh, LeBron, Kobe. James Harden, Kevin Durant, all of them came out and put on the show. Yes. So if you in the league, that's what they expect you to do. I don't expect you to belittle nobody on the court. Yeah. I'm not in the NBA. Uh, I ain't tried to get in the NBA. Uh, so I just, just stay in your lane, man. I stay in my lane until somebody gets to talk to crazy to me. Then, you know, I'm going to make you look better. You did. You did exactly that. I don't know how many of the 44 was on here. Uh, a little bit on, 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 on the Porter Jr. A little bit on him. I, I, I saw that you gave him props on social media, on Instagram. You posted something, and y'all went at it a little bit too. But I didn't see you post anything about Valentine. Is it personal? No, is it, it is. Is it beef? Like court beef, not off the court beef. But is it like whenever I see this thing, I got to cook him since he talked that on the, shit. On the court, is is beef with everybody. Okay. It's, I want all the smoke. So uh, that's just on the court. That's the I'm just a competitor. Uh, outside of that, like. Hey, I can't respect somebody who try to belittle somebody because they make millions and they're in the NBA. Like. And it's so sick. You know what's so crazy about it is because last year he had a pretty decent year. You know, people oh, were did. optimistic about him saying all these good things. Right after that game, I literally went on Google and I just Googled his name just to see what was yeah, up. Yeah. That, people are questioning whether he should be in the league now because of it. Yeah, I, don't, see, I don't know about all that. The league is hard to That's make. That's crazy, right? The league is hard to make. I wouldn't, I wouldn't question anything over a game he played. Right. Um, he told me himself, you know, he don't, he don't play defense like that. So I mean, I don't, I, don't, I, w- I wouldn't know how to say it. This is just something mid game. I just wouldn't say it. But yeah. I mean, then again, he the NBA, he making millions. That's what everybody care about. I don't care about that. I'm where I'm from. Nothing I, matters I, when I the ball goes up. Your, exactly. your, 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 your tax bracket, your team, you know, your college. None of that shit matters in the Drew when the ball goes up. No, Everybody's a hooper. And everybody know that from even Demar Derozan, Rudy Gay. They came in here, they played that, you know, butt song. So my thing is, uh, you're never too good for any competition. So I don't care, you know, I, I might not never make it to the NBA. That's not, that's not something I plan on, you know, that's not my main goal right now. My main goal is taking care of the fans and playing wherever they going to pay me to play. Mm. That's my thing. Get the chip, right? That part. Um, one couple more questions. So I was on social media, you know, being stalking, and I, I looked at a lot of the comments on a lot of the stuff you posted, a lot of stuff Drew Lee posted. A lot of these fans tend to think that, it's just the Drew League. You're you're not that dope. These yeah. players aren't going at you hard. That's why you're able to get forty. Nobody takes it serious. That's the only reason that you're getting these MVPs. What do you think about that? That's them the people that are, that don't, don't live here. They don't live here. They can't come see the atmosphere. They can't come see how intense it is. 
they can't come see the pressure. The, it's, man, but to your point, if you were here that day, <laughs> if you were, if anybody was here that day and saw the gym, they'd be like, okay, this is this is it's no intense. Joke. It's not for everybody, yeah, and no. I think Valentine's not ready. He's not really built for the Drew League. He's not exactly. That's yeah. what it was. He's he's a system player. I feel like mm-hmm. uh, I feel like he's a he's an elite. Yeah. You, you, that's the ultimate goal for any basketball player. I don't care where or who you are, where you at. That's the ultimate goal. He made it. That's made, it. That, yeah. That's all that matters. So he did. At some point in time, he did something right. What I was saying is, how is he in the league? Is how is he in the league, but can't go at me and can't stop can't me? Can't stop you. That's, that way. was my question. In the oh, league, yeah. congrats. That's amazing, right. man. Hats off to him. But my thing was, them, these are the people that that represent the best players in the world. Yeah. You can't come down to give me twenty. You can't come you down and nine. That part, man. So uh, that's my thing. That's what I was on. Like I wasn't trying to disrespect him. Like, oh, he shouldn't be there. I never said that. You just said why and how. That, that part. How that's you still I'm there? Yeah, that's all I said. You know. One more question before I let you out of here. You guys are undefeated, like I said. One more game today. Big game today. Huge. Playoff start next week. How are you guys winning like this? Playing four on five. <laughs> I've been wanting oh to ask you this all summer. God. And I told my niece, I said, yo, I'm going to get up the nerve to ask this question. Didn't I tell you that? Hey, that I said, I'm going to get up the nerve to finally say what I've been wanting to say. How the fuck is Birdie's Revenge winning with game playing 90% of the minutes? How? How? Um, How? That's crazy. How? It's you know what? That's my that's my dog. You know why? No disrespect. Yeah, yeah, no, no, Ain't no, no, no disrespect yeah, yeah. intended. But I had to lead this with that to soften yes. it up. Soften it. So because we all need that's, to that's my softness. dog. But to be honest, what he has is a lot that some people don't have. And we saw that when I was going at some people don't have it. He is not a full on basketball player. But what he will come to the bench and tell you. It's me, and it's a, it's a person in front of me. If I say the person in front of me ain't going to get by me, he's not going to get by me. That's what he says. So if he got to take a foul. And, he does. And, exactly. So as you've seen. or he that, try to make sure he hurts you on his foul. That, that bump, that, that, sh- yeah. that strong bump he get. You don't want to keep going against that. So if they ain't going to exploit it. Now, and we know. We play defense. Yeah, you guys so, are usually like in some kind of zone. Yeah. Help him out. He yeah. stands over in that baseline corner waiting for that three. I'm yep. always hoping that he hits at least two every game. I, I, if he hit two every game, we're going to win by 10. Y'all going to win if he hits two. 10. Then I, I told my niece, I said, yo, 100%. if he get two off, then it's a wrap. Because the gym going to go crazy. We yeah. feed off of it. He feel good. He going to play a little more defense. Uh-huh. And we're going to be all right. But for the most part, we just call everybody back. Uh, and, and I like this. this he, got a, he got heart, man. He, he got heart. He, he got heart. Yeah, yeah. He from Congo. Hey, he got heart. He from the, the <laughs> yeah. grit, the grit, the grind. So he understand what it's like when, I don't know, it's something inside you when you grow up how we grew up that just, I ain't going to let nobody ain't just no punk me. Yeah. You it don't matter that. that he's not one of the elite performers. He don't really have no athleticism. He ain't even the swole, sexy game that we used to see. And you know I don't know about all that, <laughs> but listen to me. Game, the, the, the game that be giving us the meat print with the shirt off on Instagram. That nigga, that nigga right there, Yo. that ain't him today. He a little out of shape, but he's still doing he's, his that's thing. That's because he hurt his knee, though. Everybody didn't know that he, uh, he, he was hooping. Yeah, and he like sprained his, his ACL or MCL, something like that. Okay. Like y'all saw and he's him, pushing through. Yeah, he's pushing through. Y'all see him. Is. You know, he ain't no, he ain't no big defensive player, but he gonna, he gonna try. Mm. And I think that's what a lot of people, you know, they don't, they just give up. You, know, you can never give up. Defense is, is a lost art right now. It is. Everybody Especially in this try. game. Yeah, everybody's gonna score the ball. The Believe jump shot is now the defense. That's it. And that's for one through five. Yep. One mm-hmm. through five. So for the most part, man, uh, we, just, we just stay on the defense and we make sure that we help each other out. Uh, we might get down on each other one play, but the good thing about us is uh, we're kind of We'll get down one play, we over it the next. We we'll talk memory. about it, exactly. We we'll talk memory. about it like, damn, come on, you got to do this. All right, my bad. Or, yeah, damn, don't say nothing to me. You know, a little good fight real quick, and then we yeah, back on it. Yeah, y'all be fighting with each other, and then yeah, y'all yeah. make up real that's quick and family, be back on man. the game. Family, that's what it takes. Uh, a lot of people don't know. We don't have the most talented team in the group. Uh, man, we got the best dogs in the group, I'll tell you that one. 
And y'all be really ready to fight for real, for real. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, like, we for real, for real. Y'all want all the smoke. Y'all want all the shit. Well, congratulations. Appreciate it. I'm leaving tomorrow. This is our last interview, darling. It was a great summer. It was great. I appreciate you And good out. luck with the playoffs. I'll be watching for sure. Yeah, I'm going to be excited. All right. Well, we, come on, we can't hear you because you got to come over to the mic. Slide over to the mic. Which one is that? Sit. Have a seat. Have a seat. I just want to say he the best guy we see for free. My God, right for free. <laughs> and I got to play against him today. But if he destroyed yesterday, it, we, it ain't nothing else to talk about. For free. Thank you for this free I like, entertainment I like all that. summer. See, that's all hurt. I wanted to do. This put on the show for the kids. Not Everybody, the kids. The grown ups like watching. Okay, the grown ups too. But I, from where I'm from, like, we couldn't pay. You know, at my, my, growing up, I couldn't pay to go see, you know, right. crazy talent. So. This I wanted to what, put a show on for the kids, man. Let them see some uh, and inspire them, so yeah, they can see. Exactly. You know what? Never give up. You can always do whatever you want to do. I well, love your whatever story. Whatever you want to do, whoever you want to get, into, whoever in front of you, whoever tells you you can't do it, you can still do it. You and talk shit it. at the same time. Yeah, but I gotta chill, man. I gotta <laughs> chill. A lot of people don't like that. I'm trying to. I'm Who trying cares to get, what they don't like? I do. I gotta get a check. I gotta be. Oh, some, well, yeah, I gotta be yeah. some some sort of corporate. Okay. I learned that at when I had my nine to five rising, man. You can't. This is the hardest working man. I swear to Barack. Somebody told me you worked at 7 Eleven. Niggas be yelling no, no, off all kind of jobs no, at this nigga trying to disrespect him. But what's so funny is a real man will take any job I'm to take care of his family. I'm taking job. I don't care yeah. what they talking about. I gave up basketball yeah. and went and worked at McDonald's for a little bit. Hey, you, you gotta know, feed your family. That's hard. People don't get they understand one day. Ooh, let me let you go. <laughs> let me, let me get out of here, Megan. Thank you so I'm much I'm again. I'm All right, peace. <laughs>
Um, Bree is back. Welcome back, Bree. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's nice to be back it's here. It's been a while. On the uh, great podcast, episode 127. Yeah. That's a lot of people are talking about. Ayo, welcome back to you as well. You've been on as well. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's talking about 127 episodes. That's a lot of fucking talking. Like, how long have <laughs> you been doing this now? A year? Yeah. Yeah. Two years. Come on. That's a lot. What? It's a lot. It's a lot of talking. That's like one, more than one episode per week. Yeah, a little bit. Sometimes I do like three a week. Like in basketball season, like I, you know, you gotta talk about shit every day. There's more games. Uh, football is once a week, so you can do football once a week. I don't, I don't really want to watch any games unless it's a good game. I watch them all. Can't I love that shit. Like, I watch a lot. I watch an Eastern Washington versus fucking IPUI <laughs> college game, though. I can't watch the NBA games. The NBA games are fucking horrible. Oh, sorry. And that's because I didn't make it, so fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case, we can talk about um, other. We can talk about the Drew because I took you. To, well, you came to Drew with me. Here. First time ever the Drew I think no, I was there before, but it wasn't like it was so else. Before. Yep, the um, middle school. I never even went there. Like we said, it's, I'm not gonna tell you where it was at. What the middle school? Oh, uh, the park. The Drew, at the park. You, you come in at the top and you go there. You got it. Like the door was at the top of the, the bleachers. Yeah, that's Washington Park. Washington Park, 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 Park yeah, yeah. It was there. so it was there. We got to come to the door, but then you yeah. walk down into the bleachers. So that's mm-hmm. the first time I went. I think I was sick. And I just had to stay and watch like the gang of Aaron and stuff. I didn't even like, but t- take but, it but yesterday you got the whole experience. Yeah, the whole experience. You, we came in early as shit. I told you because we mm-hmm. had to, to to solidify some seats because mm-hmm. shit was gonna get real. Yeah. It got real. It was it's dope because it's like uh, especially for that like I told me for them to be able to do what they do at that, that school and then that school gets a new gym band every year. That's dope. Like just to have that. Yeah, floor that you know everything that's involved. That that's that's kind of cool. But the whole atmosphere. Like, I mean, I'm from that atmosphere. You know, you know us being East Coast guys. We, that's what we doing summertime. Y'all do it more indoor, and we do it outdoor. But just that atmosphere, how it is in the gym. That's why I was talking shit the whole time. Like trying to get them. To, he was asking me. He was like, "Yo, if I talk shit, are they gonna kick me out?" Yeah. I said, "No, it's welcome." Because that's what it's about. It's, it's about, welcome. It's about showing up. You know, yeah. everybody to get into his bag. Go ahead. Yeah, Bree. I mean, you know. The lights got big for somebody out there this weekend, <laughs> man. And I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. You know, I just want to open up the conversation. You guys were there. You uh, want to start hating know. early. Uh, no, 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 no hate. Okay, no, so hate for those of you that weren't there, so um, Birdie's Revenge, undefeated team in the Drew League, um, champions of 2017, uh, played against um, what is um, Bar- uh, what is LA, uh, LA Unified. With James Harden, who brought in a few pros, you know, a to few. yeah, like six of them. Yeah, well, I was I was trying not to. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucking love Pujita. I still love him, yo. He like, brought. I don't think he even talking the game. You know, but he brought in six pros to take down Birdie's Revenge, whose best player is Frank Nitty. Yeah. Well, Mike James, cool. arguably. Yeah, Mike James. Uh, Mike James is, is very incredible. I mean, if, if if Mike could see it some more, then maybe you know, <laughs> maybe you might think he was the best player on the team. Okay, but it was dope. So... Me being from Philly, oh, you know, just us East Coast guys, you see the stuff on like Bleach Report and these uh, websites like Ball of Life and stuff like that. So you see Frank going like that. So when uh, yesterday, I went to Groovy Bray. I just told her I wanted to meet him because in in, in the aspect of that, he's sort of like me. He played like me, whatever the case may be. But just to see a young guy. Well, I don't know how old he is. He, he might he's be not, old. He's not. He's 28. Shit. I know. That's, that's, that's still young enough to try to make some money somewhere. But I just gave him a few words about, you know, because the atmosphere is different. So when I seen him playing yesterday with James and him, I was like, and it was like halftime. I was like, yo, you ain't really got to play the game. You just got to go. Because, mm-hmm. I mean. Frank is normally loud. Yeah. Frank is like the Drew League's Russell Westbrook. A poor man's Russell Westbrook is what I was saying. So yes. I didn't feel like he brought that in. Intensity and that inner same energy to the game when when James Harden was on the court, he was showing James a lot of love. It too was much, kinda, yeah. yeah I felt like it was too much handshaking yeah, and yeah, too much. Yeah, it was. So, what did you think that he should have just been fat mouthing him like Fuck regular, yeah. like just like Fuck yeah, that's you at my house, nigga? Well, let me tell you something. Like, we played, which is going to be fucking ironic when you hear the name. We played uh, at one mixtape tour like two thousand five, and we played in Houston, and we was out in the clubs, and I'm fucking wasted. You know, I'm fucking trash. You're Houston. drunk. And Spidey was in there with, remember the other, other Mike James? He uh, the Raptors and shit. Dark, dark, dark skin Mike James. James. Okay, yeah, okay. That time. And him and Spidey were kind of cool. And we in there drunk, and he like, yeah, that's my man Mike, blah, blah, blah. And he gonna play in the game tomorrow. Uh, it was him and Ricky Davis playing. He was like, we gonna play in the game tomorrow. 
a block somebody like, oh, nice to meet you, man. You know, I'm going to come out there and just, this is how he was. It was so nice. A lot of them drunk. He like, you know, come out there. We're just going to run around a little bit, have a little bit of fun and shit like that. And I'm looking like, I'm going to bust your ass tomorrow. And I walked away. Now, mind you, I'm drunk. So it's like time to get on the bus at that time to go to the and all that. I'm in the back going up. Line coming in like, yo, so what happened with you and Mike James last night? And I'm like, who? <laughs> like, Mike James. I'm like, who? I don't know. He said, yeah, he said he was talking shit to him in the club. I was like, man, I don't know what you're talking about. We get to the arena. He shows up to the game. Uh, I'm still in the back, so our coach was just being burnt. Come back to like, yeah, they all, all, everybody out there excited. See, he's going to bust a pro boy ass, you know? And I'm like, all right, so I'm getting myself together. So this, wow. is, this is the Frank shit. So as soon as we start the game, I get the ball. Main, you get the tip. Main, if you get it, you give it to me. I say, move. Get the fuck out the way. I, this is documented. This is on YouTube. I go right at him. First play of the game, and they start talking shit to Mike. Who's their they coach? I'm like, he not shit. Mm. And then Mike was like, you were talking shit already, but that's the environment. He in my environment. I'm not at a pro game. I'm not, it wasn't, I wasn't playing for the Raptors. He playing for the Rockets. I mean, that's my environment. I'm bringing you my environment. I'm not changing up what I'm doing or anything because you're there, you're a pro, and I'm trying to be a pro. And then, in that moment, Frank, this is my shit. I do this every week. Every week. You were just talking shit to Denzel Valentine last week. Yeah. No, you come here and there, like you just poke your head in sometimes. This still, this is my shit. Three time MVP, like you know what I mean. You got to force the issue. I didn't feel like he was forcing the issue at all. Like, and fucking James can't guard no fucking body anyway, so fuck him. <laughs> this just don't change because you like you no, can't guard nobody in the NBA. You can't guard nobody on fucking streets. The same shit go at him. I respect it. I'm just saying, I still think the kid good. I just think like that, that my shit is the environment. Like that's your environment. This is your I shit. I also saw that you know there were other players on his team that wanted the ball. Like yeah. they, they uh, everybody every, wanted. The, yeah. Everybody wanted yeah. the ball, and I feel like what what I saw. I get what y'all saying, but what I saw is somebody that in a moment almost questioned whether he should have been the the nigga he usually is. Because when you're in that moment and you already think about it, they're gonna lose the game. Like, just keep it real. No, if that kid didn't keep that, getting kicked out, but they could have had no, a chance. Like, I mean, a chance, yes. You Everybody got a yeah. chance. What I'm saying is, you coming in with the, the niggas they brought in, you're supposed to, this is supposed to be an L. You can change that. Everybody yeah. can change the outcome. Yeah. I'm feeling like he might have thought, like, if I take over and we lose, it's almost like it's his fault. Like, like yeah, we got to. Like maybe he should. When maybe you take over said, and y'all win. Then he should have said fuck that. Saying, when you take over and y'all win, it's, it's all you. It's Frank Nitty. He had the birds revenge on it. So you don't want to take it when it's, when it's a loss? I'm seeing niggas arguing for the ball. I'm I, I'm seeing it in the huddle, everything. Three times MVP. Get the fuck out of the way. So he should have said that to his yeah, team. Yeah, get the fuck out of the way. Yeah. Come on. You know what this is? We, we do this every week. You don't want the ball? Now you want the ball? It was a lot, of, it was a lot of passiveness going on. Too like, much. A lot. A lot. But that fucking Mike James, the other one. Who? The little, the little, uh, the little, little beige one. Yeah, little that beige little beige one, one is a fucking like problem. A pancake. He gonna be getting some minutes this year. Watch. He yeah. Gonna, that I jumper. think he's going over though. I think he's going back to like Italy. Yeah. Wow. Jumper is is ridiculous. Yeah. He, I thought the son got some more money or something. No, I think he went back over last year after he left. Uh, he, didn't, you know, he left he New Orleans. He left there. And then he went back overseas. But I think mm-hmm. he got that big contract in Italy. So I think he got some money. Did, did you see that he can get off the ground? Who? Mike James. Yeah. Oh my I mean, God. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Explosive yeah. as shit. Like I've been, I've been mad the, the weeks he didn't show up because I'm there every weekend. I'm like, he not here. Like, oh. Yeah, he got game. Yeah, he got is game. nice. But you know what's funny? Uh, uh, the other game was nice. That fucking kid. I kept telling me go that. Porter Junior. Like I said, like he got to learn how to play ball because you know he's trying to do everything. Cause you yeah. know he can, he can pack that shit, so he think he can get. Yeah. And then it, like in that instance, it's like you play sometimes you play against pros or something like that. You gotta count them. You can't give everybody everything. So that's mm-hmm. what you are gonna get later on. Then you can give them yeah. every fucking move ever. They used to your fucking cadence and how you move and shit like that. Or start going past you with that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. He, he good. Yeah. And I don't know if he can pass and all that. Or if you gonna play the one and that shit. But just like looking at him, I was like, God, damn. Yeah, he's explosive. He got he got he got a little bit of everything. He's cocky too. I like that. He's like <coughs> real cocky already. He's saying it though. He don't even yeah, say it. Yeah, but you—he says stuff. But I'm saying like uh, yesterday. Show, yeah, you saw yesterday. Up, no, but I've been this watching. Was running along. It wasn't even the talk. It was the you know face was first. My whole he was like. No, he has. Why are you doing this? No, he has his moments. I've seen it. I like the real little brother too. Who? The real little brother. Oh, Delon. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, they. I don't know why their whole team didn't show up. D- Darrell never came to a game. I'm gonna check him. No, Darrell was supposed. <laughs> that's what. That's what the line said. You quote me on that. Dog. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. You know the problem. Dog, with I'm not. You know what? That's not true. What else are you doing when you're in Vegas? That's, That's, not, true. True. That's true. not true. That is not true. It ain't true. It's 50-50. That is not true. If me and listeners to this, man, not that is child. not true. Well, if you get in trouble for, for some shit, a nigga said that she don't know, then he deserves Mia, that. Mia, don't listen to A.O. He's a drunk. He's <laughs> always talking about Mia's know the thing. He's a fucking drunk, Mia. If he get in trouble for some shit I say, Anyways, um, yeah, they again. That, that was just not true. <laughs> the raw might be like, dog, what the fuck? Oh my god. Anyway. Um, anyways, yes. Um, they had the whole team never showed up. They never had their full team. So I was a little bit upset that mm-hmm. I didn't really get to see what they were gonna do because I believe they lost the championship last year to Birdie Okay. Yeah. Well, they they, they shouldn't have like game and them get a championship like as somebody from the city like that wasn't supposed to happen. They, that like Birdie's revenge. We, we like as a conglomerate, everybody else in the Drew League was not supposed to let that happen. So so now it's people feel like the Rice team already let us down. So it doesn't really matter what they do now <laughs> because they already let the whole city down last year. So now the pros let the get, city down. Yeah. Did any of the pros even get there? Like. Around the playoffs, like championship time, yeah, like yeah. now, now yeah. is when everybody starts taking. Yeah, it serious. this is when it's like, serious right here. Yeah, right. this is when it's serious. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah. So if you ain't here now, you ain't serious. But that's what I'm saying. Their whole team never came. But I seen Swaggy coming there late. I'm like, you ain't playing. You never play. He's, and now he got a ring. He's too big to play. I guess. I don't know. You know how he what is. does that mean? He probably was mine pussy too. <laughs> My bad. I don't know this. I'm just saying. Like, yeah, he could have been. Dude, I, I got I to gotta put the lead down. I got I, I to gotta run this That's damn podcast. Pussy. We over here just... You can buy a championship pussy? It's, like, it's probably one down and two because he got a rank. So if he was buying pussy for like a stack, it's probably like a like... Six, six fifty? No, oh, it might be like 279 now. Oh! It's like a 75% decrease for him. He, like, he, it's easy. Like, you you, you got, can I fuck you with, with, and win your rank? Oh! <laughs> You got to get the ring first, so I'm telling you, it's still about six fifty after the ring ceremony. Yeah, is he going back there? What do no, you mean? No, he no. Saw, isn't he um, going know, somewhere? They're else? not bringing him back. I think he's going somewhere else. They gave Boogie Cousins his cheek. Oh, oh, that was sick. Yeah, Boogie ain't gonna play the whole year. <laughs> he got make money. Yeah, he's smart, so I took that fucking deal to fuck these owners. Um, so oh, I already, I was gonna ask you who you were impressed by, but we already talked I about. Like the, yeah, I like the Harrison twins. I think Which one? Trash. The one, the, the G one, League one or the other one? The one, the G League one. The one that played. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not trash. I just think like for them come going to Kentucky and how they work, I always thought they were just like, you know, just good. Regular? Yeah, regular. Player. I mean, they, they don't really have positions. Decision after that first year that was supposed Plus to be. Plus League, yeah. yeah. I think when came back and it was. Like, yeah, when you're in Kentucky. It was tricky. I call it the Scotty Thurman rule. That's yeah. my Scotty Thurman rule. You remember Scotty Thurman? Yes. Or Arkansas. Mm-hmm. You won a championship and you go in your, the next year. I think they lost the final. They lost the championship, right? To so UCLA, but he didn't have a good year. He didn't even draft. No, he didn't. Even that, draft. That just killed I, I got a rule too. You play for Calipari for one season. That's yeah. what he's if, known if you for. Having like, a good year, that's how it is. Like, if you just, really, if you're really dope, you don't. Yeah. They don't take that long. Yeah. You don't, you know, need, they, you don't got, need that second year. They got pushed out the second year. Like, yeah, that's, that's not even dumb oh, money yeah, because it's like you gotta go. Yeah, yeah like you have yeah. to go because we got more new, new niggas, niggas coming. coming. Boxing, you in the way. Boxing, yeah, you in the way. Yeah, this is this is a stepping stone to uh, you know, so you don't have to go overseas. Who's coming? Fox? No, Fox Briscoe. They no, no, one Briscoe was Briscoe and somebody else. The little guard. They just always got people ready to come. Little guard is our cut. Our recruits. They just got cut. Ulysses. Ulysses. It was Ulysses Briscoe. And it's crazy because like he he's gonna be a good pro, yeah. Frisco. Like I seen him play in the summer league. Like, you know, he had to go overseas first and develop, you know, get that. Cause you know, being in Kentucky and he behind people and it's like seven fucking Waiting guards up. that Waiting might be drafted. Time. Yeah, this shit is tough. Like, so you gotta get your confidence back. Cause I think he can go. He can fuck that. That shit is crazy what happens. Like with these Kentucky players, they average six points at Kentucky and then they go to the league and they're like the best rookies. And it's like what? No, he couldn't even get off the like this Knox kid that the Knicks got. Well, like, he's he was, fucking good though. He's really good, but he didn't. <laughs> but, but he didn't. That's really, what I'm saying. You like, have to know. know. I think he, let he might have, but yeah. he didn't like. No, they, they, they team wasn't. That team wasn't there. Yeah, wasn't as good as he is, team. you would think that they would have been a better but team. But that's the like. one thing I like about even with this one and done shit is like because some of these kids like. Even if it might take them time to develop to NBA players, but most of them are already NBA players now. Already. How they develop. It's because so of college, basketball. Basketball is so different now. Yeah. It's because kids are playing. Think about it like this. When I was coming up playing, 
We had to go to parks. We were playing outside trying to find who. They got fucking gyms everywhere with air conditioners and great backboards and, and know, rims and nice nets and shit. Like, growing up, think about that. We learned how to play, like, Real young, yeah. Them. Yeah, so they already they're, playing, they're like, learning. Insert, yeah. We, we were self-taught. We were self-taught for the most part. <laughs> I mean, one year in college is good. Like, it's only, like, three niggas in history. I mean, but I, I don't you know George and Magic. I'm still my, but not them. But, like, LeBron. Time out, though. LeBron, Kobe. I gotta run the show. Jason Kidd. I think I'm like the three players I've seen in high school that never should have went to fucking college. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no way for LeBron could have played for. Like, it wouldn't have matter. It wouldn't have matter. It wouldn't made sense. Like, Kobe should have been, even though he got to the league, and, you know, but he's behind fucking All Stars. But it's still, yeah. like, he couldn't have played in fucking college. Like, there's no system with college. People forget that we had Nate Van Axel and Eddie Jones. You know, that's like, what I'm saying. Like, when we yeah. drafted him, like, yeah. Oh, Kobe didn't do shit as well. Well, it was some niggas that was it's nice as fuck. A lot of niggas who wouldn't have did shit if they was drafted into that well, situation. That's about that. Is that what Rick Fox first got there too? They had some, they, it was all right. It was, it was it, all right. Just one didn't have Kobe. Ben Nexo was the one who went at each other and kind of fucked that up. But Ben Nexo could have still been there. You know, him and uh, Jerry. Uh, he just looked, he just looked like he had stuff. an attitude. What's the logo? Uh, Johnny. Wes. Jerry West, they got into West. it. They, I guess they got into it. That's why he shipped the. Uh, what do you want the gun for? Van Exel just looked like bullshit. he got a problem with yeah. everybody. Though. Yeah, he like, said that. He, he when you nice, when you nice though, like that's how you be sometimes. Like, like the it. nicest nigga, like who Westbrook, some old. Somebody else. It was, there's a lot of guys <laughs> I like that that not pro that was good. Like I told you, the kid that fucking pink head, man, he was fast well, as fuck. Oh, uh, uh, Tone. Yeah, whatever. Big low. Uh, the other kid. That don't they don't run no plays for him playing on the white team. Like 35. 35. Um, um, um light skin got curly hair. Shit look like um, him. That's your son. Shit. That's you just said what? like him. That's just <laughs> no, son. he does it. The, the motherfucker they didn't pass on the ball like no. no time. I think he had like 20, 10, and eleven. Yeah, like, hold on. Shit. The white, they didn't look like the ball in those times. Um uh, he plays on um uh Casper and them's team. Casper. Oh man. Is that him? Man. Like the yeah. Yeah. everything. Van Geron. He did and every fucking thing, dog. This shit was crazy, dog. Yeah. And his mm-hmm. fucking left hand is fucking incredible. I was like, yeah. yo, your right hand? He was like, yeah. So that motherfucker ain't shooting right hand. Yeah. Who else was there? I'm like, uh, I can't remember. I started getting drunk and sick. So did you he, see how LB lit up Birdie's Revenge, though? That would be tough, though. <sighs> how is he able to do this? Because he's a fucker. First of all, he, that's the best shooter you can get. And how you come, and still and how come he can't it stay? Up, it's a wrap. How come he can't stay on an NBA roster? It don't make sense. There's a lot of shit going on. Like when you deal with that, it's just placement. What you at? What, Bree? Like what do you have to say? Go ahead, say it. It's placement. Being able to guard. Because if you're gonna be the first, but guard there's a lot of niggas that can't guard that's still you right. know staying on a roster but and do, and contributing. It's about what you bring though. Like all right, so LB's a volume shooter. He can score in the league. But it's Houston, like when he's at, they're gonna let him come off the bench and get his ten shots up. But they gonna let him be Lou Williams. You know what I'm saying? No. Can he come to the game? There's too change? many other. So when you sit Chris Paul down and he come in, can he still apply the pressure that Chris Paul applied? It be stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? He's not a good fit for them. He's way better than fucking. He's not a good fit for them. We got T.J. McConnell for the Sixers. He's way better than him. But for what we need. When he come off the bench behind Ben Simmons and them, he can't he fucking get to the lane. He's, he's, he's better than that boy. He can't do what he does, does for, for what we need. Yeah, so it's like mm-hmm. a little bit different. But so that, no, that, I understand. If you where you at? I'm like, just such a fan. If I'm like, let him just do like, it, somebody get him. Like, like he this. is fucking nice. This might be a stretch, and the only like crazy. Oh god, because LB is a fucking body shooter. But think about this: what's that? He's really tanking right now. Some Sixers shit. The Hawks. They're about to tank. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they know about to tank. They're trying to destroy it. So they really about to give Trey Young the he go to fucking ball. That's what you want. LB could do that with the Hawks if they let him. Like if, they, if somebody they, lets you say go ahead and he don't, he shoot one of them long ass dumb ass shots to the drill, but he not doing this. Yeah, looking mm-hmm. up shit. So that that's the kind wondering of wondering and worrying about, about am I gonna get that's bitch. why Steph Curry's so fucking good. I seen him like shoot like three, shoot fucking threes, get from half court, and like Steve Kerr didn't even fucking buzz you. Like, yeah, and it's like, like you know, green light. It's a green light. It's a confidence that is. That's a game. fluorescent green light. Like, is what that is. So he, some niggas got the fluorescent. If LB can come off the bench with somebody and be able to. Do what Play he that does. 15, 20 minutes and do that. Like, that, that's it. Lou Williams. Like, Lou come off the bench and it's like, them coaches do don't say nothing else. Yeah. Nigga, go. That's confident. Yeah. So it's just look. He just needs somebody to believe in him like, like we true. all do. He's so fucking And that's not going to happen I with this story, him. like with the overseas. Yeah. Nobody gets signed from overseas to get the green yeah. light to run a team. It's like, it's you, different, yeah. you yeah. just be an end of the bench player. And when you get in, it's like, 
run the team the offense. Don't, and that's not what he's not a team yeah. or run the offense type of player. Yeah. So you, if you bring him, you bring him off your bench to run the offense. It's but you know what? So. That's another reason I love the Drew. We get to see niggas flourish and that's and not yeah. getting that. You know, Which everybody listen. Yeah. When you get to that level, everybody's fucking good. Yeah, I seen Kevin Allen like he's in Philly. Like it's Kevin, it's Kevin Allen. So you like Kevin Allen ain't shit, but he played like one out of thirty five in the league when he like first to six. I think he had like fifty three. <laughs> it was like. Oh, Kevin Allen's busting your ass. I was like, what? And y'all seen the, the shit with What's his name? The white boy. The white mama. Oh, uh. Ooh, white, white mama. mama. Who, who the f I can't think of his name. She white played for everybody, played for the Celtics, played for Boston. The white mama. I don't know. Played for USC. Scalabrini. Scalabrini. Scal oh. So you know he did this shit with the Renia. And they were talking about, like, I can't believe he made the fucking Celtics. Why would he be in the Celtics? So you know, they're retired now. They did this thing at this fucking gym with the radio station. And it was like, whoever signed up can come. Come and play. And what happened? Yeah, Cook he, them was like, nigga, 12-1, 12-0, 12-0, 12-0, 12-0, 12-2, 12 like He played like 27 fucking games. It was like this one guy who was like 6-8, 6-7 that played a little bit of college. He might have beat him like 12 or 6 and such like that. But it was like fucking incredible. And it's fucking Scalabrini. I think Scalabrini had like 2.1 points. Yeah, because people forget. Like, it's the highest it's level still. still. Nice. You feel Even the bums are nice. Hell yeah! Like so, it's like a different. Yeah. But I, I like that one. Like I like the game. Though. Like I really like. It. I think it's tough. But you know, the NBA is just something. It's business. It's always going to be business. Like or you. Well, I heard he's a good locker room guy. I heard he's like incredible. Like right. the Houston, they love him. Houston, like, but they, you know, for what they needed last year, when he got, you know, they, they just had to go with what they had to go with. But you know. It's uh. just, New subject. So, what was it like being washed and seeing all your washed homies at the Drew? I saw like a washed convention over in the corner. That's to me. That's funny type shit. Because because a muffin can't talk me into it. Like when I told you I came in, I was like, "Yo, you playing?" I was like, "Nah." Niggas like, was telling him, "You ain't lacing scared? them up. You scared, nigga? I was like, you scared? Nah, I ain't scared, nigga. But I'm old, nigga. I'm not getting out there chasing." But once I seen that motherfucker in the pink, I said, "Man, the was like I played last year." Tone Bigelow had him scared. Yeah, he was like, "Yo, I, I gotta go stay in front of Tone." Six, like, no. I played last year. I said, "Well, that's you, sick. That's why your name is Sick, and my name is Aaron. You, you go out there if you want." But Sick got a little ball. But down what down. I will do is. When I come back out of here in the winter for my daughter's game, we're like, playing forty and over. Playing forty. They have forty and over. He gonna play. They don't like you gonna play. I said, yeah, I'm gonna fucking play. You better. But they try to have you at someone. You might as well play in thirty five. No, I'm not playing thirty five. They still fast at thirty five. <laughs> Scary <laughs> ass. But to see, you see guys, I played against Juco and shit like that. That was like, it, it, it was kind of dope. Like that whole environment, I probably needed that. I really needed that at this time. I'm so you know, glad that, that I could just give that to you. Oh my god, my phone's gonna die. I'm fuck? terrible. What? Who? And why the fuck? Hold on. What? Why the fuck Marcus ain't shoot yesterday? Oh shit. <laughs> and, uh, I, 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 I was I was smoking I think, in the I, I car most it, of the game. I, I, they was up 20 and I thought it was over. Marcus looked at, and not, then he I, looked at not interested. It was like, I'm just, I'm here. I feel I like he forever. played his level of the competition. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. here. Was, yeah. But it looked like they were seven fives though. Yeah, like what was that? Were they what was up that? or they were down? They were up. They were up. They let the other team come fucking back. Yeah. yeah. Why why were they subbing like that? Last games. Keep your legs fresh before the playoffs, man. Don't Who's somebody else in the team was tough. They didn't uh yeah, Chris uh Chris Allen. Yeah, that's that's the one. Uh is that the one? No, I get buckets. Yeah, no. Uh -huh. That's not the one with the dress, right? That's one with the braids. Yeah, braids. Those are like braids. That's, yeah. well, that's something, right? Yeah. yeah, he was something. Did we play that? I don't know. Uh, he went to Michigan State. Yeah, he was something. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, he was, he was tough. He's scary. I like the old guy. What was the old guy that was on, uh, that played against Kevin Porter in the game? Dark skin, left hand. He was talking shit the whole game. But you can tell the old guy. Oh. They played against who? Casman, right? He won that team, right? Okay. That's cash. Left hand, sick was talking to the whole time. He shoot long, like know. left hand, and fucking know. rainbow jump shot. But he we was just talking shit. Two, backwards, man. two yeah. in a row. You gotta, you gotta know the name, yeah. dog, so I we can help you out know. at this point. That's why I so backed away from you. You held it in your fucking phone to say I was, I was watching. I was with my watch people. No. no. Yeah, she did look at the phone. You see that shit? Like she like, 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 first of all. There's there's a list of things that I'm that I'm okay, discussing. The only life. reason that I even brought that one up is because I enjoy myself. No, I I noticed the wash convention. I was sitting here thinking about you no, guys. No, wash. I was washing my the wings back and dropping the first time. Oh my god, he dropped all the fucking wings. <laughs> he went and bought wings for us, and the niggas dropped him like bloopers dropped him. <laughs> Swings flying in the bleachers, fries. 
I got right to put So they were out of fries and you dropping fries on 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 the bleacher. Yes, yes. I couldn't even get no fries. I had to eat potato salad, man. Yeah, she kept trying to get me to get the salad. So you sure don't want the salad? That she was. Right, she was probably right. looking at you like you need some salad in your life. I but I was, I was high, so you know, the salad was average. I was drunk as fuck, though. I know the lemon pepper was a lot of lemon on it. So <laughs> whoever did that at the group, uh, back yeah. off. Too much lemon. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> taste buds. So the so playoffs start next week. Playoffs start yeah. next week. And it's crazy that I told you I wish I could be it because that's like, that, yeah. that's how, you know, that's the crazy shit. Our first and one mixed state tour game ever is with Hellwine. Mm-hmm. Uh, Southwest College. Same place. Same place. Mm-hmm. Same place. So I was going to ask you some questions. I, I was hoping to get James on the podcast. It didn't work out, but. Who the fuck is James? Okay. So I wanted to ask you guys some questions that I would have asked him had he been on. Okay. Will you answer these questions? I don't know, maybe. I, you know, I was going to shoot my Are shot. These questions or some shit that he wouldn't ask? You know, who answer any fucking questions. You know, I mean, I'm going to ask. I'm Let's just, that, why are you going to ask? Get fuck out of here, so L. Dog. I ain't buying no pussy, though. <laughs> you have to be. These are basketball. <laughs> what is no right? Right, right dog. Dog. Nobody believes me. Stop this being cozy, dog. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, man. We're not going to do that. <laughs> We're not going to do that. That's not even cozy. That's Colorado cozy. Look, you yeah, snitching again, yeah, dog. No, he came from Colorado. He said, "Fuck this shit." Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god! He was hitting game winners after all that snitching. Yeah, that might be. That might that that Kobe might be the best player. Nah, if, if you go about one year, if you go about one, like you get somebody the best year ever, like like you take LeBron. Kobe right best after year. the rape allegation. Yeah, like Kobe right after the rape allegation. What was that month when he scored like forty, like uh, seventeen times, some shit like that? He was tripping. That's when he started that mama shit. Scored fifty. Four times in a row. Yeah. Anyway, 1987 yeah. Michael Jordan, still I was, the best basketball player ever. <clears throat> I was going to ask the MVP about, well, playing against the MVP, but of the truth. <laughs> Not a joke, but like just seriously, like it's a different environment. I would imagine that Frank would have been different, like y'all thought. Yeah, but does and asking what it was like to be in his. Yeah, but don't, that, that, but I mean, it's different because. But don't James play in the Drew? Like, hasn't he played in the Drew? Not consistently Not enough to. Not as a pro, to... like in college and stuff, did he play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, yeah so it's still, it's still his environment. Like, I. I think it'd be a different question. Knows what the Jew is about. Yeah, yeah. James so is like, not. Saying, like, James yeah. is different on in the NBA. He's not NBA James at the Drew. He's not that nigga. Mm-hmm. He's not. He's I'm way more. The moves, though. Yeah, the moves are the same, but he he doesn't get, have the and he doesn't give the animation at the, the group. Stuff, like you see it coming, then they don't even. Uh, I see it coming. I see it. <laughs> yeah, it coming. It's up off. I don't know. know it's coming, but he steps. You, so you can Yeah, it's yeah, and he's and it's like it's quick. And man. he steps back, and it's like he gets up. The, he gets the ball up real quick. But how probably? Then gets, up, I mean, they, they, you but can't guard mean, it. There's just. But you know, for him, I thought it was like because because you understand like the first play, like the second play, you know, Frank did go at it. And yeah, he like really <clears throat> got into Frank. Like, yeah, so it was more like just like, this, this, hey, this hey, this, yeah, this slow not, down. This ain't good. it was one of them type things. So check. that's why I thought it should be more for Frank to be like, fuck this. Like, nah, I, next play down. Come on. Yeah, hey, I ain't see him clear nobody out. Nah. He, he cleared, he cleared, uh, what did he fuck up? I would have asked him about bringing all the players. Like, why? Why did it take that many well, people? Peter Tucker was like, "Shit!" Yeah. Why did Why did you need that many? Like, like, were you nervous about Birdie's revenge? Right. So you brought that many people to secure well, the win. Was here. I don't think he did it just for that. What do you think you it was for? Yeah, why would you need that many? But pros? B. Brown on the team, right? Yeah. Are they DeBron on the team? Right? P. J. Tucker. Yeah. Oh, there's too many. No, no, but they're on the team already, right? They're always on the yeah, but they don't all show up at the to, same oh, time, to dog. To be fair, sometimes the game has a lot of pros out oh, there too. Shit, did you like, see that? What was that? I, I don't even know what kind of plugs you got flying in on the podcast. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't think if they already played, so the kid Montrez play a lot too. He's all he's always he's the one who's always there. So so he really was what PJ. Yeah, it was just PJ Tucker, and mm-hmm. I like busting the kid too off the bench. So he play a lot. The, the, the albino kid. Um, oh, that they, 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 he was playing good though. He played good. He was like, he's bad. No, he's bad. Boy. <laughs> My bad. You know, you have a good game. You kind of look at. It. He's on like. A, yeah, but I don't think he's on. If PJ was here, he's probably like, all right. Well, we he might say we all need to be beat in the day. Game. I mean, this this is the keep it real. Like, it was playing four on five. Game is subject. Still, game is subject. And it was playing four on five. More. Huh. 
players. You game know, played know. a lot. Game had like one for five, three. Five. I don't care. Like he still. <laughs> the one time he didn't run that court twice. Yes, always plays a lot, and they play four and five. I asked Frank this, this exact question. I said, "Why are you guys doing this? Like, why are you playing four sell? and five? No. So you can't sell. No. So why was that even a question? It's, at some point, you have to figure out so, that you really want to win easier than what you're doing. So they scared to the, actually the sub because they scared they won with them last year. That's what I say. That's what he so, said. He said that we won with them. So if we just said fuck it. He said he brings a certain intensity. People be low key scared of him. And, and if you do go by him, he gonna foul the shit out of you. A lot of niggas don't like that contact and that aggression on defense. It's it's the environment. But I think they had the big guy. They had a chance. But he was also fucking. He lost his that? mind. Yeah. Isn't that Marcus? If y'all, it, Bell, yeah, if y'all ever be, he, that's that's normal. Yeah, but he was talking shit like the cop was telling the comment. Listen, I was that like, is yo, you six eight with blonde hair. You going to jail? That's, that's regular. He's he going to get his pistol. Dangerous man in the building holding him. him. He still, still didn't was, even yeah. care. Like I mean, he was acting like some, some, some regular nigga. What's the nigga name? Security guy. Yeah. He's like like somebody as well. He playing the drill. He plays, but he's also the security nigga like that. Enforcer, man, you know he's I mean? the Julie yeah, Gooch. Like you, you, you just don't. Want he was like, out. "I'm going outside." I'm like, "He lived, like, yeah." I'm six eight, you got blind hair. You're not getting away with it. Shooting dog. Like, why would you go outside? He was like, "Like, you go outside this place." I'm like, "Are oh, you going down?" <laughs> everybody's gonna see you. Yeah, like, everybody's gonna fucking see you. Like, it was Big Bird. He had to go. You trying to fight everybody? <laughs> like, it wasn't even just. And he just, one person was just like three or four people. But it's every so week. Everybody close to him. So you know every week. So it just yes. went because of him. No. Oh, well, he always this, is right this is regular. Well, that's a little bit different. I like him now. Because if you do it every week, if that's the same energy every fucking week. Yes. Fuck it. Is this regular? This is regular. That's cool. That's cool. Yes. This is normal. Now, like he, big kid. he doesn't always get kicked out, which is stupid. Nobody but he like takes it there. He overdid it. He over. Yeah. It went far further than ever this that, that game. But it's always that he get at least one tech. It's it's gonna happen. But the big kid is nice. Do he, do he play? What's he? Which kid? Um, oh, the kid that stayed in the same. No, he's talking about. He's um, kind of off the ball. Like he's still dribbling. Um, the um, biggest one he had in the team. No, 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 no. After uh, he got. Oh, shit. He started. Why he can't started. I think of his name? This is so crazy. Number seven. Number seven. I can't think of his name. Fucking Hen. Hen. Jay Hen. Jay Hen. Jay Hen? Yeah. yeah. He, he was kind of um, cool. I like him. Why can't I fucking think of his name? I'm drawing a blank right now. That's the name that got tossed out. That roster started looking real shaky. You, you're not going to put nobody else in You can't really rotate. They have like Jerry. a lot of, a lot of big dumb Jerry. dudes on the bench. It seemed like they couldn't put they. So basically, they don't have a chance. And I, I also feel like a lot of the... I, I'm watching them. I've been watching them every week. And I do feel like J- Jerry wanted the ball. Frank wanted the ball. Mike James wanted the ball. Like, Ooh. it was... That they were yes. wanting, everybody was like, watch out. Everybody wanted, to, instead of playing together, yeah. pretty much letting Frank do what he does and everybody get in where they fit so in. So it was the atmosphere change. Everybody the wanted the ball. The atmosphere change. Yeah. And Birdie's Revenge is not going to be repeated, man. That won't be happening, man. Because nobody's going to let that happen. Shit, shit. I thought he was tall. Who? Frank. How tall do you think he was? I thought he was like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, <clears throat> like 6'1". No, he, he might he maybe six two. About six two. Six two. I don't know. He's been kind of short for me a long time. Not a little. I'm really six three. Oh, shut up. <laughs> um, I was gonna ask him about Melo coming to the Rockets, so I can ask you guys your thoughts on I, that. I think if, if Melo just just be open and when you get a shoot. Do you? Does anyone think Melo should come off the bench? He's, but he's not going to. I know, but who, do you think who, he should? Who, 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 not for you, say. He should start. Yeah, he got to. Because they got rid of Ariza and, and, and the other guy. The, Look at the Bob. 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 What's how you say it? Yeah. Bob. Bob. You said late, didn't you? What did you say late? Huh? You went to UCLA, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they don't really have any wing. Like, I don't, yeah. So you gotta. They got PJ Tucker. Yeah, but. What are you gonna do? See, I feel like. Oh, yeah. They're gonna start him at the four. Who? Melo? Melo might start at the four. Because if they still start in PJ. They have to start. Yeah, they don't got, they're yeah. still going to keep that. I think they're still right, trying to get their center. Right, they're still right, trying right, to right, sign right. the center. Yes. Cal, uh, he got so signed already. He did? Okay. And then they still there? We owe. But still, he's going to yeah. bench. So Capella, they're not going to start Ryan Anderson. Melo start before. They start Peter Sutton because the ball wants to go. Eric going to come off the bench again. Yeah. He's going to start in Houston. Uh, but I just. I don't know. I just. Is, is Melo's a volume. 
but he's like LeBron. He needs the ball in his hand. But Can he really he sit the there and wait yeah. for the like? Is that even in his game? We've never seen it. We thought we were no, going to see it Oklahoma. No, no, no. We seen never it. seen it. We when seen Olympics and shit like that. When he played with guards, that they give Melo like the fucking leading scorer in the Olympics ever, some shit like that. Because he sat there and, and waited for the ball. For, and I mean, but, like ten three. Like so why is he able to do it in the Olympics but not in the NBA? Because Westbrook really don't pass the ball until he can't shoot. So <laughs> then he pass. It's not like I made the move like Chris Paul and I see the nigga open. <laughs> Russell was like, I got here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Or like it's not. I ran it's, it. It's so shoot maybe first. Maybe it's, it's, it's layup first. It might be a little different though. You, you, think think it's, think you think it's gonna work? I, I feel like when they gave up Trevor, they gave up defense. But I don't think they gave up Trevor. I think Trevor was just done. Reg- regardless, he he's not there anymore. Who's going to pick up his defensive up slack? CP3, so. Who's gonna pick up the de- defensive slack? Not Carmelo. <laughs> Someone else is gonna do that shit. You see what I'm saying? That's why I was saying Gordon might shit start. Well, shit, Eric Gordon will play no defense. Better than Melo. Melo isn't capable. Or who's in the West? Let's, let's, let's well, take Golden State out of the equation. Out on like some lateral yeah. and some so like let's take Golden State out of the equation. Loss and of being so he's every night. But he's just <laughs> shooting jumpers. Who was right Melo Garden at the four in the West? Can we talk about why Melo is posting workouts and shooting jumpers? Right Do you now? have a hoodie on his shirt? Duh. I don't mind. <laughs> like, duh. we know you can shoot, bro. That's you you need to lose shoot. some weight. <laughs> You need to be hitting yeah. the sand dunes. I want to see that nigga sweating on some sand. Yeah. Like, With weight vests on? Yeah, you need to shed some I mean, he might, if they get in the uh, West, like, I'm thinking, like, who does he have to guard night to night? At the floor? A lot of people that he no, I'm saying, so, guard. So, so sometimes we can't when he, you want to You want to take Golden State out of the nah, all right, so, I'm saying, so you take Golden State out of the equation because that's, that shit is all switchable anyway. They're going to have to switch all the time the way they move. But then it's like, all right, San Antonio is the market, so let's see playing the floor. Shit, the Lakers, they might. Put LeBron the four sometimes, so that's that. And then it's like, what? Utah got Derek Favors. Denver ain't got nobody at the four. The Lakers are gonna have a problem. Minnesota. The Lakers are gonna have a problem. So it, so he probably can. I mean, depending on how they play D, he, he should be good. He's got to get out. What he, what Mel Lax is not gonna be good. The energy <laughs> to go get rebounds. <laughs> He's not gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I don't it. know why he's trying to help. I'm sitting here. Because like, he's old, though. Like, it's fucking yeah, still it's old. Okay. It's okay. But no, he's not old because he's like a year old in the fucking LeBron. He's, he's 33 fucking, or 34. He's, not, he's like a year well, old. He's LeBron. not taking care of his body like LeBron. So we can't really say he's, he's, he's not. The, he's the old. age is, the is, is relative to. We, we, we need to talk about. takes care of his body yeah. like I take care of my we body. Need about, <laughs> we need to talk about his finesse game. His fucking finesse so, game? What's finesse game? With his money? Oh, God. Get cut? Keep your money. But that's NBA. No, sometimes they do the dumb shit. But they keep all the money. That's yeah. It's that's that's the new thing. That's like you know, that's the it, new it ain't thing. Gilbert finesse. Gilbert finesse was Gilbert great. finesse is top. That's no, a great. Bobby Bonilla is the greatest. What, what was his? Make today a million like every year. Yeah. He just got one two million, million yeah. every July first until twenty thirty five. Mind you. He been fucking retired since 2001. And they only owed him five million, and he opted to get like the one million, but like. For 30 years. fucking like, years. I'm a no, live. 30, 20, Look, 35. I'm a live. He might be dead. I think like 56 now. So what's this, 2018? That's like yeah. 17 years? Yeah. He might be gone by the time. Whatever. Whatever G is <laughs> that was, that was a bad deal. That was a bad deal. Yo, that's million. fucking dope though. That is, that, I didn't even know about 1. that. 1.2 million. Every, so every July yeah, first meeting like this. Waiting for the mailman. How you doing? Deco. That's some crazy. That's a, that's definitely that game is incredible. How do how do you even work that out? What kind of manager you got? You want the five million now? That's what didn't they used to no, do that with? That's like a, didn't that's, they used to do that with the lottery? lottery? That's, that's how the lottery is, lottery. where you can take your one lump sum, where they sum. take half of it, but and they the, or they pay you like but the a certain amount, a million, million over like no, thirty years. No, the lottery is different because it's lottery. Different. They don't do it for life. It'd be like twenty. Oh. So you got to They'll try to get you all that money, but after twenty years, you're not getting more money. Like Larry. Oh, like, they'll lie. Yeah. No, it, I think oh, it's only like contract? twenty. I think it's only like twenty years. Oh, okay. Twenty years. You get fucking okay. four seven million. million yeah, seven million a year. What the? F- so it's cool. I get seven million. Man, I'm good. <laughs> Today, <laughs> one time. Huh? I live in Philly. I can buy twenty-seven <laughs> houses. <laughs> fix them up. Nine hundred. Yo, that gentrification is going on in your in your hood. You in Brent's hood. It's that crazy. Is crazy. Well, I should have gentrified. Right? <laughs> you buy twenty houses in Philly, you fucking dog. You come here and probably buy this house the next year. Like this shit, like they gentrifying my whole fucking area. Like they did, they every year. You know how you know they already got that downtown and all that. But every year they fucking move it like two blocks. So it's like <laughs> the, the fucking downtown is moving more 
Like, you know, I'm like, yeah. what the fuck is going on? Where, where the black people Downtown Avenue, I was like, dog, when I was a little kid, downtown was like, how y'all downtown is now? Like, it's Rod Avenue? That's like dope fiends and all that shit like that. How the fuck is that downtown now? That's like downtown, like prime real estate. <sighs> anyway, I think Melody. You think he's going to be all right? If he plays his role, he's fine. So, what do you think Melody Wayne should do? It depends on how many. Like, because when you get a rid, you get a rid of it. You get a rid of it. But you still got two dudes who love, love the to ball. dribble. They dribble the but leather. Chris Paul still is. ISO. They playing a lot of ISO yeah. ball over there now. Like ooh, I don't know. But, if, but how about this? Let's let's say for instance, let's and shits and giggles. If Lamelo is not shit and he comes back, that's why would we? Why would we believe that when he's never come we, back? We, we, you shit. said you said shits and giggles. Don't don't do that. If it's, if he come back and shit well like that, and then. He start, he's isolated on the wing against other fours that's not. You're saying if he goes into into uh, uh, Olympics mode. Yeah. Then he, that, I can feel know. it. If he goes into Olympics mode, he's still got to guard somebody. It's, it's, it's still going to be, a, it's like, still be a problem. But the thing that I like about him, if I, you can take an L on defense, if he's doing what he, they need on yeah. offense. The you got to make sure you can't be both negative. You can't be getting beat on D and coming down here mad and, and grabbing you know, grabbing that, was, that was the reason why he had to sign to pull him back. Cause he fits. He fits everything. And it's fucked up because he really deserved it. And mean. it was sad because the way how they put him through it was like because they know on the open market he's not gonna get it. Yeah, because was, the way they play, he's good. For but them. they know that they know that, and they yeah. that's how. But that's how billionaires saying, are. Well, you 120, that's how billionaires are. Like, that's how billionaires are. Though they're not gonna give so you, you like, what 80, you deserve. Ninety in Texas is a hundred. So you got ninety. Technically, so state got, tax. No state. You got ninety. No state tax. Just stay local. Dan Tony like quit his last job because of Carmelo, so I don't. That's another thing, though. I don't really know. Was it really that though? Because he said it's not. Yeah. Okay. No. This is going to be interesting. Dan Tony said it wasn't. Yeah. And then they're trying to say like after the fact. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Because if 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 if, if the shit continues to stink. Well, if you like somebody Uh, that you work with, you just got waved today. You're going to sign. Yeah, it's already once they they already saying it. it, It's like let me tell you. So when my husband. Officially signed. We signed like two days ago. Okay, that's kind of how shit be going. Well, Melo, listen. So you got your other money, and the check you're getting this year is horrible. But I say you're gonna be good this year. So you can donate <laughs> this year's salary to me. The two million. Yeah, the, to the, me. the the uh, yeah. veterans memo. Yeah. You take it. What else we got? We talking. Talk about TV um. What? <laughs> we talking about the TV shows. No, no, no. I don't want to talk about any TV shows. Do you guys want to talk about no. TV shows? I didn't really have anything else. I really just want to talk Drew League and and a little what bit. About, more. Oh, my bad for break. What you think about Marcus in the Drew? No, this week. No, the Marcus Cousins going to. Oh, oh, for him. Not, not, I thought he said Marcus. No, no, right. the Marcus going to Drew League. Not in the standpoint of you know everything else, but just his preference to go. Ahead. I thought it was dope. Uh, might as well. If he, the way he said it, then nobody even offered him a contract. So I mean, like, the owners did offer him, but they offered him after yeah. he got hurt. It was like two years, a little over two. Years. But he you know he wanted to stay long term. Like he wanted to be with Anthony for. So, but Miles is more like, all right, he didn't get off a contract, and then everybody still give. So everybody's giving that the deal goes to get one year. Yeah, but months. this is my thing. If you got to do a one year prove it deal, why, why not, not do it with Golden State? Like it's a no, no brainer. Question. Yeah, you you you're you're coming you off want. of a you yeah. coming off of Achilles. You don't want to have to be the the nigga you yeah, was before the injury. With the Grizzlies. Yeah, and then you got to like be that guy. Like yeah. you want to roll. You want to wait and roll into playoff yeah. season, healthy and one hundred percent and ready to contribute yeah. and just dog niggas all through the playoffs. And you got to earn your fucking. Now if you got to go to a fucking team that ain't shit. Like he signed with fucking the Nets. Then it's like they you need you ASAP. Now it's like. ASAP, we need you now, now ready. Because it's giving him tomorrow. Next year, like $3 million, $36 million. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Three years, $36 million. And, and, and it's the slums. After all that, it's still the slums. So if you, you don't, you know, you don't know what's going to happen after Golden State, but yeah. if you got a one year prove a deal, why the fuck not? And why not Golden State? It's like it's heavy over there. Yeah, it's like every, every, everything is every, rainbows every, and sugar and sunshine. Ring, yeah, true. Yeah. And you win a Marine, then it's like, okay, I'm, now I can go. Yeah, because I, I got my ring. I got now, my now ring. I'm going. I'm oh, just so playing out. So we missed the moment. They, they, they won. The it seemed like it right now. It looked like it. Why not? Nothing else has I happened mean, around the league to, to say it otherwise. Man, I he was gonna uh, beat him. They went and got mellow. No, that's a, that's I, I a down think, for me. They Boston, went down. If Boston can stay healthy, that's yeah. gonna be interesting. Yeah. But if that's if Kyrie stays, no, no, this year. 
You saw, no, I'm no. talking after this year. That's about this year. Like the 2018, 2019. Yes. Year. That's mm-hmm. Kyrie's here. Kyrie's with the Celtics. Well, I don't know. There's no, he's some, with the Celtics. They're not going to trade him. There's some rumors. I don't know. I think he might get traded. There's know? some rumors that he might want to be out. Yeah, but I don't know. I think he's already going to be a free agent after this season. Yeah, so there's no sense of getting traded. But I'm saying, like, if they're healthy, they all What do they do? To nothing to go to state. They do nothing to them. What? I don't, I don't know. think so. That's interesting. They match up well. That, yeah, but you don't score as many points as that. Yes, the fuck you do. You know, right. another year of fucking Jason Tatum being a fucking second year pro and Jalen Brown, and you get Howard back, and you get Kyrie back. That's a lot of fucking scoring, Mika. I'm sorry, I just saw the Cavaliers who have tr- tr- have issues no. scoring the ball all the, the time. Are fucking horrible. So, yeah, and they sat them down. But the Celtics, but the Celtics they had Kyrie or Howard. I'm saying bringing uh, they are coming back. I don't know how they're going to all play gonna together. Be. It's going to be a little different. No, it's, it's only one five ball. People. It's, only five it's people one ball. Yeah, it's five people. So, they so I want to see who's who's going to be the guy to back up. Who? Scary Terry? Well, Scary Terry's coming off the bench. Okay, so then now now we have him and Tatum. Jalen Brown's coming off the bench. You you, you sit in two dudes? No, they got to sit. So it's Kyrie, yeah. Tatum, mm-hmm. Hayward, Howard, Hayward, Hayward, Morris, and, Morris Morris. and fucking uh, Horford. Then you come off with Brown. Well, Scary this is going to be interesting. I like the fucking rookie. That's their James Bell for this year. Who? Uh, the kid Robert Williams. You know how it goes to get James Bell? Though, man. He's a fucking idiot now. <laughs> He's dumb as hell. I've never seen this. What do you mean dumb as hell? He got drafted. And then he flew out the next day. Uh huh. He missed his fucking flight. Three flights. He one of those guys? He missed three flights. So he didn't get to the, to, to the fucking interviews. First round pick. Got there. And then Danny Ainge had some like talk and shit. Then he told him he was hurt. So he couldn't play fucking summer league. He told him like he's just a fucking. I don't know. So why are we Dude, counting on him? But basketball wise, why are we counting on him? He's a Dude, fucking he already, why are we counting on him? He already slipped to the Celtics because he had what? questions about him, and then he misses three flights. <laughs> why are we counting on him? Because, because it'd be there. Why are we counting on him? That's why I like it because like now when you finally get to be around Stevens and because one thing Stevens got is with the Celtics, they got a good fucking. You know what I'm saying? They I bring, hear you, they but bring if you're in. that guy, but maybe he not. But if he plans. But if he's playing, You're I mean, I ain't in the refrigerator at the dog and drinking tequila. Like, it's yeah, a lot of shit. Gotta get together, but still, there's a lot is. of shit. Let, let me just say this. Of course, they got yeah. off. They got some other people off the bench, though, right? They, they I don't know. It's, it, they the, they the, need to shoot. the Warriors have like are we, are we serious? Yeah, the Warriors got two of them, like three <laughs> best shooters. If, if, if anybody it's, starts just one ball. not guarding Draymond Green and whoever's playing center, like literally say play. I heard, we were talking about this earlier before we started recording. Let's run it down this. So y'all saying if somebody would just decide to allow Draymond Green, Green to try to, to score, I, I dare you to score sixty yeah. and you lock everybody change. else, but you still have to have people that can lock those. No, people it's not locking. This is what it is. You double team. This we do. We double team with Katie. Okay. So when, so if Katie get the ball at the top, then you double team. Mm-hmm. More than likely, this is how I always look. Clay is probably on this side. Steph is on the side. You four <laughs> players not, unless they're trying to backdoor. Whatever the case may be, make Katie a pass. Only person you really give the ball to is Iggy Dollar and Raymond when he mm-hmm. wants to kick it out. And now you just literally like build out on some like slow shit. I'm like, shoot, try to make a move, whatever the case may be, and not let the guy get the ball. Like meaning like you you literally got like, I'm here on break. I'm not even getting off you. Katie gotta get out of the double team with Draymond gotta score. Do you realize how difficult that is to do? Like it sounds good, but that's difficult. Well, four forty eight minutes, yeah. But yes. at some times, like, especially you got niggas got to sub. Gotta you got to spots a lot. But this is the point about Golden State when we start to realize they're going to score yes. a lot of fucking points, but they let motherfuckers score. Like mm-hmm. they beat. I think it's because they score so much that they're really I mean, a, they're a great defensive team. Though. Time? The Warriors yeah, are a really good like good that. defensive right. team though, but I believe they are lazy in yeah. the sense so of their scoring. They beat Houston by like forty at one time, right? Mm-hmm. But then they lost by like thirty six. Yes, mm-hmm. they was down thirty against San Antonio two years ago. Came back. So no, Weston got hurt. Oh yeah, he did. So what I'm trying to say is like you. Boy. You got the people, teams got the pieces. It's about individuals, like you said. And it's about Carmelo committing the whole if, game. You know the whole, it's about the whole game, yeah. too. They just don't want to do that. The no, whole, I don't think it's the whole game. I think man. what goes what goes that is, it got to be the fourth the quarter. The third quarter. No, that third, third quarter. I'm saying, like, it got to be around that time. Like, you you got to commit. You got to slap the floor when you this, come this, out of halftime with them. Like, are they going to fucking this is the run away about. from it with you? So the Sixers played Golden State, and we were damn near 25 at halftime. Okay. The reporter came out and smacked no, the shit out of We played for that the game. I think it was up like fucking 72 to like 49. I looked up in the third quarter. It was like fucking, it was up 93 to fucking 90. 
But I'm saying like you got play, you like come out six of the ball, so they got people that can defend and do that. But if you can't do it, the full. But that's I think it's that's a great pro. team too. I like. So you get what's in it. You get what's in this week. I like. I like. We need a couple more. Supposed to get Corbin oh. this week. Oh, really? We we're trying trying to trade Jared Jared Davis for that money. You know, get his money. Oh yeah. And guess what it is? This is this is media for when we can get to this. Just let you guys what? know what that fucking kid is good, really fucking good, and it's like we getting a fucking free agent if he's. Healthy and like if he's healthy like they say he is. I seen a kid playing like a couple weeks ago. He's fucking good. Oh, he's fucking good, man. Like he's fucking good. He's so good, yo. How come they don't this believe it then? No, what, why? Why this is there happened. this big he, he elephant? Fucked, he fucked the shoulder. Okay. So an NFL team did over Kyrie with the Celtics. They did that. Just try to rehab it back. So now he can't really. So he should have had surgery right in summertime. Uh, Some of last year. Try to get him in camp. He can't even lift the shoulder. They're trying to change his shot now because they think it's that. Now he don't got no confidence. He's fucking 19, 18. So now he fucked up. Mentally. He should have literally just got the fucking arm damage cut off, whatever they had to do, and just sat down the whole just waited the whole. I'm just want the motherfucker to play me. So we're going to see it. Definitely going to see it. Okay. Because okay. I, I want to believe. Do you have a team? Yeah. This, team. My team is LeBron James. Man, you're too old for this shit, dude. <laughs> Cause you from my, you from the era of, no. of teams. You can't just keep fucking following them around. You got a Heat jersey. Let me. You got a Heat LeBron jersey. Of course. So you got a Heat Cleveland jersey. What do you mean a Heat? I mean a, a LeBron Cleveland jersey. I was drinking. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. And <laughs> I have a Lakers LeBron T-shirt. I haven't gotten a jersey yet. You, you, you from the era. You can't do that. You can't do that. I, not welcome on Lakers. <laughs> fuck out of here. Right. I'm here, nigga. What the fuck you mean? I've been here since '85. Fuck out of here. Just been said, here, been a Laker fan since '85. I left when Magic left, so now I'm back. I have Magic's back. I'm back. I'm mean, still a little. We different. back. It's not the air When Magic know. came back, but I don't want y'all to be good. I'm we back. I don't want the fucking Lakers to be good. Fuck the Lakers. Listen, when Magic came back, Miko came back. So I don't care what you talking about. And he just happened to bring my nigga with him. Yeah. Bonus. <laughs> You know, so, you know, so, so I'm a Laker fan. What? So, 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 what? So, so like for me, for Philly, <laughs> to come out of LA. <laughs> what, Bree? Why we we fan base now? We we are, we are Tampa and Lakers, nigga. We here. Yeah, yes. I was a Bucks fan before she got over there. Yeah, he was a Bucks. Yeah. But well, listen, when I became a Bucks fan, we was the only team in the league. We had Tony Dungy. We had Sean King. So we had a black coach. And a black quarterback. I was at like ninety. I was rolling, dog. Like yeah. So was we rolling. look at us now, Lakers Sean and Bucks. Sorry, the mother. Yo, like, like, how do you become? How do you come here? How do you get that? Like tell me, like how do you? Like, yeah, just I thought it was black coach, black quarterback. L.A. didn't he, have he's a team. Pro black. You know what I'm saying? So he's I, pro black. Well, I'm Whatever. I'm we we look at us, Bree. We together now. No, 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 you and me, us now, <laughs> I'm one of the crazy. I'm part of the craziest fan base ever. So Philly. Speaking of Philly, y'all repeating? What's up? Yeah, we fucking repeat. Why? Because we are. We got a good team. Bree? Carson chemistry. Wentz is back and uh, we got chemistry. You know I'm a Carson Wentz fan, right? We got chemistry. Until we see, play out. You see his workouts? He was, uh, yo, I liked him in college. And, and I, I hate I, college football. And us, they have I like fucking the, hate college and I, football. And us, they had like the dirtiest, grimiest, nutty ass city. Our team praise a lot. Like, them niggas love the Lord. Because you guys are fake. <laughs> You no, guys Carson, all, Carson all those yeah. priests are fucking all those kids too in y'all city. Nothing to do with Philly. That's in Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. Philly too. Yeah. Yes, you see that fucking show. LA What's too. the name of that movie I LA watched? Too. Podcast took an interesting <laughs> turn. A left on the left. The fucking left on no way. So fuck. And I never want to see the Lakers be good. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck the Lakers. Fuck you. Fuck you. you know never want to see the Sixers are back in championships. <laughs> Oh, you going by that? That's what you do? So you do that like, oh, y'all ain't got that many? I'm just saying. That's what happened mean. once is like fucking what? Oh, nine? And, and when, when did y'all last win? 83. Okay, <laughs> so. And who be sweet? Who? It's cool. So, that's, that, yes, that's it. That's it. A sweep? That's it. We swept y'all. What, that's all y'all. That's it. Too. Moses predicted he said, fall, fall, fall. Mm-mm. Yeah. What, what happened with Magic? What happened with Magic? I, I, I recall. Magic Magic I would no, call I'm talking the, about I'm talking about the you know you you know what I'm talking about. Oh, Magic did wait. defeat the Sixers in the finals. Yeah, defeated the finals before. Oh yeah, we, we, so, we, we, not, we, we, we got more. Bree, we not gonna do that. Imagine we not even finna do, do that. Imagine he was just on Matt. He was just over I there saying Magic. how Magic won a 
high school championship. That has nothing they, to do with they won. They won that on the racket. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love that. That has nothing to do with me loving the, like, loving the player, but yeah. fuck the Lakers. So have a seat. Like, I'm never going to side with the fucking Cowboys. What college. we're trying to say is, I'm never going to side with the Lakers. What we're I'm trying to say is, is sometimes you, when you're in the room with that type of greatness, when we were talking about Laker greatness, you, Sixers have to be quiet. Like maybe Boston can say something, right? Boston, Boston, yeah, Boston fans can have a have a say in this conversation. Right, cool, but I Y'all gotta sit shit. down. Y'all can talk shit to me now because it's like, all right, we ain't had the title in 20, yeah. 25, 35 years. No, look at it. But I don't want to hear about that shit. Y'all won in ninety. Like Nigga, football team, like, we won in ninety. Look, two thousand. Only thing I know about is twenty eighteen. When, when did when did Iverson step over um uh, T. Lou? Mm, listen, I, I, I was taking all Lakers slander for five years. You know, you ready mean? now? Probably more than five years. No, it's been five years. No, right. it's been five years. I'm gonna say eight. Serious. I'm gonna say eight. When Kobe, Asian, I'm gonna say eight. It was like twenty twelve. When Kobe heard, I'm gonna say. It was like 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, 2012, and that motherfucker can't just six the set. No, he wasn't sitting on the bench. Yo, he was did he have braids? Did he have them braids, man? He was sitting. What was his hair? What was his? <laughs> he was literally <laughs> sitting in the fucking crowd like a civilian. Like he wasn't even sitting on the bench, Yo. like sitting behind him, like in the Yo, fucking crowd. Yo, my nigga went crazy. He's with these dumbass brown loafers. <laughs> I'm up. Give me my cheese. I'm up. So you think the ladies have a chance of you? A chance to do what? Go to the playoffs? Yeah, we get in the playoffs. <laughs> The rest is is just you know we gonna pray for the. If you win the thirty five games a year, you would take. I know when you kind of like push people. With that, you right? push people to be great. You try to like put people in their roles and all that. But y'all got like a star on your team that I didn't even talk about. You gonna be fucking good. Who? Josh Hart. Really? Oh, he's talked about. Nah. Not like he should. You saying? I think he needs to trade him. That nigga's a bad. Oh, yeah, shit. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. I hope Ingram get out of there. He light in the pants. Man. And I don't think he would never get bigger. He not even like. You don't even he have to get bigger. Get... You can. You just have to get better. You don't. You don't get better. What he has, so he I think he's. All, no, no, I think he, that's it. That his ceiling was way before we thought it was gonna go like this, and I think it's plateauing or something. Kuzma came in and was already better. And made us all question whether why we even needed him. Yeah, and he we? happened to be injured too. Why we? Sorry. You weren't even fucking like a fan last year. Yes, I was. You said you was sleep. Listen, no, 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 no. You asked me the team. Was I not a Laker fan she last year? She was serious for the Lakers. I'm, I, some? Yes, that, as but a team, because I knew there was no, was there was no, re- they weren't in my way with the Cavs. Yeah, 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 definitely. But you know, Bree. I, she was doing a little Laker dog. cheering, but we know she was a Cleveland uh, fan. What? So LeBron was like the best player ever? No, I'm not doing this. LeBron ain't here. Oh my God. Okay. okay. Thank you guys for being oh, on the podcast. LeBron, what? LeBron don't got enough moves to be the best player ever. Thank you guys don't for being on the podcast. Music, <laughs> so LeBron over Bubba? No, no. Bubba just will always be my favorite player So I ever. was you that you fucking oh, I grabbed thought you, the phone. No, no, no. I thought you were about to do a Jordan LeBron no, debate Jordan, or something. Be I wasn't about to get into that with you. No, no, no. no. Your, Iverson, your, your. Iverson is my GOAT always and forever. And I'm so glad I never slept with him too. Cause they well, she can say that but I say something that's like, why the fuck? I, you I say felt that? like you was gonna bring it up. I want to bring it up. Yeah, that, that's why. That's why you brought it up. I did not. I was. What do you think about that? Did you? I thought you did. Hold on. <laughs> she like probably did. Four? And she's trying to. Do <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. You said something. No, weird, no, no, because no. Like, oh, three, oh, two. You can't. You can't talk. We can't talk about stuff. That yeah, happened. but I told you I didn't. But you talked to him. Oh, <laughs> I think she's in the white news on podcast one twenty seven. She in Atlanta, y'all. Bubba Chuck. Listen, 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 listen. She in Atlanta. I'm Bubba Chuck. I don't want. I know I did. It's like three in the morning. Bubba Chuck, there. She called my phone. Hear all this fucking noise. Like, you ain't coming to the club. Hey, out here. I'm like, all right, I'm right here. Call this phone right here and tell them that I want. What? What? <laughs> she did it. I don't want me to go right back to fucking sleep. What? I'm not going. <laughs> and then I think of yesterday was you had the chance and you was like, I walked away. I didn't even See? talk and I was just like, okay, nice to meet you. You should have ended the podcast. Before. See, I'm going to edit all this out. I don't want to be, I want to, go ahead. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to be a hope, but I want to be a ho ho. My nigga. And then here's the thing, the funniest part about it too, a couple of times he hit you. 
And when he saw me, yeah, you see, you and he was like, yo, your friend, why she playing? Why she playing? You hit me like, yo. He said, and I was like, dog, I already told you he's my idol. Like, I'm not sleeping with my idol. I think it's weird. The Snoop's idol? Yeah. Well, I don't have a girl idol, but I would fuck the shit out of Holly Berry. <laughs> I would eat her ass on the first night. Afternoon, at the brunch, road game. Yeah. <laughs> Santa Ranch. <laughs> Roscoe's in that side street that you can't park cars on. What's that side street at Roscoe's you can't park cars on at the top of the block? Everybody always trying to park there. Gower? They always, no, it's like, Gower's here, but there's like a little block right here. Like you pass. Oh, oh. And everybody always get told. Every time yeah, I go to Roscoe's. Oh, so no, you talking about the one on Pico? No. One up here? Oh, not the goat. Roscoe's. Oh, the Gallo. one of Gallo? Yeah, Gallo. Not the goat. Pete on the bridge, the goat Roscoe's. Yeah. That's the goat Roscoe's. I, I never put I, all, all the I, grandmoms working there. I usually just do the meter. There's a meter I always do right there. So, so you, you did? I would, no. No, no, I was just, I was just asking. No, what? I would have told you. Yeah, but you tell me everything. You know, I tell you everything. He would have told you. Yeah, he would. He would have bragged. So you going to break? She's lying now. I don't want to be oh, you lying? You can't get in trouble. I'm I'm on it. It. That's just stop lying. Exactly. First of all, it would have been before my husband, anyway. I don't want to hear it. Before you First of all, yeah. Trust me. I, I don't want to hear it. I didn't. I would have. Oh, A.O., you know. Oh, first of all, he would have told you because, you know, I'm everything. I'm everything. I'm not even talking about that. I want to hear that shit. I don't know what you're He's going to ask AI later. I might hit him after we get off this fucking podcast. Ask him. I said, you took me, I, we saw him at that Friday's uh, two years ago, remember? Oh, yeah, he was. Man. Yeah, he would have said, oh, I fucked her. He would have said, we was right there doing karaoke. He would have said. Oh, yeah, because you heard everything. What about him being remote? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make it a ho. I'm trying to be a whole ho. <laughs> hey. Remember? Remember me? It can happen. No, no, it cannot. No. 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 Definitely can happen. Love it. No. Man. You can, it, no. 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 She just won't hug. Yeah. We're not, no. We're not, we're not doing that. No one would ever forget. Because she on her second album and stuff. I'm out. Matter of fact. Because <laughs> that second album was. <laughs> <laughs> what you playing? What's the music? I'm, I'm, I'm going to just let my, my uh, editor play something. I'm not going to tell you guys a song. But listen, I wanted to say one more thing. Get back over here. You guys, this is a very emotional moment. I need your attention for a second. What? I I I'm pausing my podcast. What's that? This is like. Wait, what does that mean? It could potentially be the last episode. Why not? Um, I just want to take a break. That's why you can take a break. Why you say it could potentially be the last one? Because I, it could be. It's emotional. Do you guys? Well, like, let's get the one thirty. Get to an even number. Yeah, that's a stupid no. number. One twenty seven. That's a dumb number to just, yeah, well, I did not Football season is about to start. That's, that's an episode. I don't know if I want uh, to do it during football season. I feel like. Football season is about to start. Not football season, but it's about to start. I don't, so I don't want to talk about football. I'm tired. Yeah, that's what's about to start. The that's end, when it's going to. That's end. when I feel like I, I, I might be like, room. I'm losing my mind. I won't be here. To talk but you can't much. cut it off at 127. Why not? She'll be back it's a dumbass number. She has to talk about LeBron <laughs> in the Lakers uniform. She's not going to do you oh. should be back. Oh, I see you in the gold fucking LeBron. I've already been wearing the Lakers stuff. I was with you saw me last year. I had my Lakers shit. You're definitely going to see her in the LeBron jersey. Wait. She probably ordered all four. Wait till I get the LeBron Scullies when I have to take the, tri- the, the Giants game. Yeah. I'm going to have a LeBron Scully on, Lakers Scully on. Yeah, it's happening. There's some bullshit, though. It's happening. Why? I you don't like Kobe? Yeah. Exactly. He got on my nerves. Exactly. Exactly. He was acting like Jordan too much. It really annoyed me. Oh, he really is Jordan, but... Like, it annoyed the fuck out of me. It's, it was weird. Not that. And it made me, like, nothing against his game. I was like... I'm not taking was, pussy. Well, you know how many people you wouldn't like if you fucking hated everybody who acted like Jordan? Uh, I don't know anybody that did it as much as him. <laughs> who was worse? Do you know anybody who did it as good as him? No, because he was... That's why it was weird. It was almost like the snake became him. Shoot his gum like him and everything it was creeping me out. Then when he snitched on Shaq, when he yeah, Why when you do that? yes, it's What's embarrassing. I, it was embarrassing to be his fan. Like I was like, dog, do be be your own self, do your own shit. Hold on, you you been a Lakers fan your whole life? You know, like the Clippers. Why wouldn't the fuck with anybody? <laughs> 
Besides that, yeah, dude back there, yeah, like oh, well, that dude back there is a good year. Why would anybody? Was that year? Was that year? When it was good, 91, 92? Clippers good? No, they had no, Mark Jackson. No, they had Ron one Harper little run, that, that, that temporary. Clippers ain't never been shit, bro. When I when I was a kid, let me tell you why I never liked the Clippers. I mean, they never got a championship deal, but they still okay. had good teams. I don't know what the equivalent to this is in Philly, but when I was a kid, like, you could go to the store, you buy a pop, soda, whatever yeah. you call it in Philly. You, know, you get you a soda can, yeah. on the back it says, good to get in the Clippers game, dude. Just because you bought a soda, you can get to the Clippers game, dude. That's know. sick. That's you know like, what? Why would I be a fan? Come, come on, come on. All you needed was Clipper Daryl listens to my podcast, dude. You needed come a on. soda can to get into Clipper Daryl. Yeah. How the fuck did he become? Why didn't you get him on? And he has been on twice. Did, did he wear the suit? If he wear the yes. suit, that shit don't count. Yes, he yes. can't. No, he had a LeBron James did Clipper he, jersey did on. He wear the suit. That the day, the day it was. Listen, no, 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 no. The day that it was announced that LeBron signed the Lakers was at Drew. He had on a LeBron Clippers uh, jersey. And he took it off and was outside screaming and crying and hollering, slamming the jersey on the floor when they, they announced him to the Drew. And then I was recording and he came over and hopped right on my Why podcast. Was LeBron was the I don't know. Because he heard LeBron was coming to LA, so he was just hoping it was the Clippers and not the Lakers. I know. Clipper Dow, I think it was. <laughs> Excuse me, Clipper Dow. I apologize. I mentioned a couple of times the cat was there, but still has. Oh my God. Clippers. So, anyways, you guys, I guess I'll be back so one nice. day. That nigga Clipper Darrell looked like he's supposed to be in a Tyler Perry play or something. <laughs> yeah. Like, with a, like a crazy name. Start with L. Monroe. Oh, my <laughs> God. Uh, Ed, start the outro music, y'all. We out. Clipper says it's entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like a trash bag for the week. Peace. <laughs>